Today on Karamo. She dresses like that all the time. Sylvia doesn't trust her cousin. You're standing there twerking your butt. But I wasn't doing that, though. Wow. Now she's thinking her cousin. Sexual, though, it's not. No. Is having a secret affair with her man. She's my cousin. She's my best friend. She's my everything. I would never do that. We're about to unlock all the photos on his phone. And that's not you? <laughs> and it will turn this whole situation completely upside down. That was you. <laughs> Dika doesn't respect her mother. Baby, you got to earn respect. And doesn't want her around her child. That is kidnapping, Adrian. Oh, it's my grandson. But is there any way this conversation, you know I see you, I see you, can bring this mother and daughter back together? Dika, I really do feel bad that I've not made you feel safe. All right, everyone, I want you to go ahead and do this. Take a look at this photo. And let me ask you this question. Would you let this woman move in with you and your man? No. Well, my next guest, Sylvia, did just that. And now she's having big regrets. Sylvia, girl, come on out. <laughs> Sylvia, what is up, love? How are you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, I'm good. Let me give you a quick hug. All right, girl, so you got to give me the tea on who is this woman in this photo that has moved in with you and your man? That's my cousin Santa. I mean, she's really beautiful, but she's, she's very gorgeous. she's very provocative. She's very, very provocative. provocative. She dresses like that all the time. The question you is, know? does she walk around the house like that with your man? Yes. So this is how she's just around the house? Yes. Okay. See, that's the thing that gets me. Listen, I'm all about feeling empowered as a woman, empowered as a man. If you feel sexy, be you, but you also have to have boundaries and respect. Yeah. And so, for me, it's like, so you brought them both here because you want me to unlock both of their phones. Yes, I just want some answers. What are, what are, the, what are the answers that you're hoping for? I'm just trying to figure out if they're messing together or anything like that. And you've asked them if they're messing around, right? Yes, I asked both of them, and it's never a consistent answer. They both have different answers. She what? says one thing, and he says something what, else. What, is, what does she say? She says no, but she, like, makes up a story behind the no. Oh, so it's like an excuse. Yes. And then what does he say? He says flat out no. Okay, then. So they're both saying no, but there's always something that's lingering underneath that makes yes. you feel uncomfortable. Yes. I get it. So how long have you and your man been together? Well, we've known each other and been, like, together for almost 10 years. And how long have you been living together? We've been living together for about a year. A year that you've yeah. been living together. So you're a brand new relationship at the end of the day, yeah. and now you have this cousin who you love, who is beautiful, mm -hmm. that could be interfering in your relationship. Yeah. And how does that make you feel? Sad, because I love my cousin, and I love my boyfriend, too. So it's just like, I don't know what to do. What did you notice when your cousin Santa started moving? She started to do, like, little things, like, really sexualized in front of my boyfriend. Like, she would wear little shorts, or she'd be, like, bending over in front of him. Why is it that you're suspicious? Is it because that you don't trust Santa, or is that you don't trust Lawrence? I don't trust neither one of them, okay. to be honest. What, what has, has there already been any issues with Santa before in the past? Yeah. Why you don't trust her? She slept with somebody who I also slept with. Like, I was talking oh. to them. Yeah, I was talking to this boy, so um, I found out that she slept with him. So you were dating this guy, and I'd also been sexual with him, mm -hmm. and then your cousin knew that. Yeah. And decided, were you and the guy in an open relationship? No, we, we weren't, like, me and him, we still kind of were talking, but I didn't really want to mess with him anymore. We was just hanging out. And then I had told her that. I expressed that to her. Like, I didn't want to mess with him or anything like that. If she wanted him, she could have him. But she just kept telling me no. Like, she wasn't going to mess with him or anything like that. And she actually just lied to me the whole time. I found the messages in her phone. Mm, so there's the lying. There's, OK, so that makes yeah. more sense of the mistrust issues. So then if you know that she slept with someone that you had just talked to, you know that she had lied to you about doing that, why would you let, let her move in with you and your man? Because, right? <laughs> I don't know. I just, I love her. Like, she's like a sister to me, you know? She's like a sister to me, and nobody else wanted her to live with them. She didn't have nowhere else to go. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm just saying, well, is there any, has there been any relationship issues with you and Lawrence before um, Santa moved in? 
Yeah, we were having problems too. What was the issues you two were having? He was being unfaithful. So he cheated? Yeah. Okay. And so if he cheated, why did you continue the relationship? Because in the past, like, I've done stuff that wasn't right either, so I just, I'm just trying to, like, make things work. Mm. You know? Okay. So you don't allow them to be friends on social media or Instagram? No, I don't allow them to go on each other's pages, nothing like that. You set a clear boundary. Yeah. Why was it, why was it important for you to set that boundary of you two cannot communicate on social media? Because of the way that she posts on social media. She posts half naked. She, you know, she's naked on social media. Yeah. And she does a lot of, like, sexual things on her social media. Yeah. So it's like, I, I can look in this and look inside in the house and see what y'all are doing, but on social media, I don't know what y'all are doing. Mm -hmm. So you were like, that's a clear boundary for you. Yes. Mm. Do you think they honor that boundary? Yeah, I believe so. You believe they honor that boundary? Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, listen, backstage, Sylvia's cousin, um, Santa, has been listening to all of this, and she is here. So let's go ahead and bring her out. Santa, come on out. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing good. You look cute. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. So we want to hear what you have to say about all of this because we saw the photo and it's easy for us to make a quick judgment about just because you walk around the house, but then we're also hearing these stories. So what do you want to say to your cousin? Um, straight up, like, I never did nothing with Lawrence. Um, I just feel as though, like, it's a shame, like, yeah, at the end of the day, yeah, I dress a certain type of way, but that doesn't make or portray who I am as a person. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm a good individual. I try to be there for everybody. At the end of the day, Actions I feel as though... Actions would show that the way you dress is the way you act as well. You're standing there twerking your butt. Yeah. But I wasn't doing that, though. Is Sylvia's cousin having a secret affair with her man? She's my cousin. She's my best friend. She's my everything. I would never do that. We're about to unlock all the photos on his phone. And that's not you? And it will turn this whole situation completely upside down. That was you. That's my cousin Santa. Yes, you walk around the house like that with your man. Yes. So you brought them both here because you want me to unlock both of their phones. Yes, I just want some answers. I never did nothing with Lawrence. Yeah, I dress a certain type of way, but that doesn't make or portray who I am. At the end of the day, Actions I feel as though... Actions would show the way you dress is the way you act as well. Bro, I wore one pair of shorts in your house that showed my butt a little bit. What did I do? I went and I changed them drawers real quick. Didn't I? I had to tell you, though. So, Sandra, what is going on with you and Lawrence? Out. Nothing at all. Nothing. So why do you think your cousin is suspicious? Maybe because at the end of the day, he's a cheater. Like, he's done that to her. I know my fault is that in the past, I've done what I did in the past. But I believe my actions have shown that I would never cross that line with you no more. Do you think that you cross a boundary in the house? I don't feel as though that, like, I do sexual things in front of Lawrence. I don't. I don't. Is that true? And I feel no. as though I, I don't. I believe she does. You think she does? Think I've she never does. danced in front of him. You was dancing on the table yesterday, standing right in front of him. Dancing Just because on you're not bent table? over twerking, you're standing there twerking your butt while he's right there. I wasn't dancing That's on the dancing. table. I was. I had my phone in my and hand. You were I was shaking sitting up your like butt. this. No, I wasn't. Your butt was against the table, and you were shaking your butt. Definitely was not shaking yes, my ass. Was. I wasn't doing that though. I'm sitting behind the table's behind me. <laughs> And I got my phone in my hand. I'm listening to the music. Of course, I'm going to vibe out. I asked you in the room. I said, yo, you trying to dance a little bit? Because, like, we had party And that made gone. me uncomfortable as well. Bro, I'm why not, would I'm I not... just... My boyfriend is in the room. Why would I want to dance with you in front of my boyfriend? Bro, is this... Is this, like, any type of dance that's sexual, though? It's not. No. It's not. It's not. Mm. That's all. <laughs> How does it make you feel that she doesn't want you and Lawrence to be friends on Instagram? I mean, I'm totally cool with it. I don't want to be his friend either. Got it. Like... <laughs> Because you're saying, there, since there's nothing going on, you're like, I don't need to be in you. Your cousin's most important. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like, I don't want to talk to Lawrence. What do I want to talk to Lawrence for? I don't so, talk Santa, to why does Sylvia feel like you cheated with Lawrence then? I get it. You danced in front maybe, of him. Maybe I get it. Because... She said that you didn't, you know, the social media, but there has to be something else. 
I mean, we were at Sesame Place one time, and she told me, she pulled me to the side. We was about to get on a ride, and she was like, oh, um, I seen him looking at you. I seen him touch his, your butt with his foot. I said, hey, yo, I didn't even feel that, John. I swear to God. Like, at the end of the day, like, I'm not here to hurt you. I'm not here to do nothing like that. So I'm here he to show my loyalty to you. So he on your butt, and you said you didn't feel it. Did you see it? She said she seen that, John. What did you see? Tell me. I actually just said that because I just wanted to see what she was going to say. Wow. It's cool. Wow. I'm going to stay in my mind, though. So you actually didn't see it. You just wanted to see if you could catch them in something to yeah. see if like, she's going to say something. Yeah. Mm. All right. I, I asked Sylvia this question earlier, and I'm going to ask you again, Sylvia. What's online for you right now if I unlock their phones and you find something? My family. Yeah. Like, and my relationship with my cousin, too. It's rocky right now, but I still love her. Like, I just want to make sure, like, there's nothing going on. Got it. And so for you, what's online if, if something is found? Um, my cousin. Her dad used to call us the Wonder Twins. And I always stood by that. Like, she's my sister. She's my cousin. She's my best friend. She's my everything. Is that how you feel as well? Yeah. Yeah. So this is a bigger family thing right now. Yeah. This mistrust is bleeding into a relationship that was strong and that was yeah. a full bond. Yeah. I, w I would say it's not only that that's, like, pushing us away, though. It's not only Lauren's. It's, like, her behavior as well. I have daughters, and I don't want them to see the way that she acks. Santa, think this that is that's affecting okay. you. How does it make you feel to hear that she's scared that you're not a good influence for her daughters? I mean... I totally agree, because I have a daughter myself, so, like, I understand. But, like, I feel like I do try to do things in the light where, where it's not, like, so bad. Like, I don't put no type of pornography, no nothing like that. Yeah, I might take a picture, like, my butt showing. I might be in a bathing suit. I might, like, shake my ass, whatever. That's all for entertainment. All right, Sylvia's boyfriend, Lawrence, has been listening backstage, and we need to hear his side of the story. So, Lawrence, come on out. How you doing? Um, so, Lawrence, good to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So, you cheated on Sylvia? Yeah, in the past. Uh-huh. And have you cheated with, on Sylvia with her cousin? Hell I'm no. asking you directly. Hell no. Yeah. You said that you cheated on her in the past. When was the last time you cheated on her? Um, about a few months ago. Mm -hmm. Santa, is there something that you want to tell Sylvia about Lawrence? Um... Yeah, um, so one day I was, like, going through my story, and I caught you in my story. Oh, well, uh, my girl be looking on her page sometimes. She got me, she got, my, she got her block on my Instagram, so I don't know how that even came across. If it was, it was my girlfriend that did it. How bad have things gotten around the house, Lawrence? Oh, uh, like, really bad. In what way? Like, to a point I'm getting kicked out, I'm, we arguing mostly every day because of this, and it's just, like, I'm getting fed up, and I'm just tired of it. Do y'all share any children together? Yes, I have a, I have a uh, son by her. Okay, then. All right. Lauren, Sylvia says that you have wandering eyes when it comes to um, Santa. Is that true? No, that's not true. I mean, like, she got, like, I ain't, like, she got a big butt for me, so I look the other way because I know how she dress and which how she come in a room. What do you think when Sylvia moved Santa into the house? What was your thoughts? Oh, I didn't know her, actually. I just met her, like, two years ago. But then... That's when I start uh, no noticing how her behavior is, how she, who she really is, and like what she get into. So, you feel like you're being unfairly judged? Yes. You do? Why? Because like she should know that I love my girl. I would never like do anything to hurt her or make her feel insecure because like I wouldn't even be in her face and messing with her cousin at the same time. Yeah. Like, I would never do that. Mm -hmm. But you understand why she feels that way. Yeah, I do, because Santa, Santa did a lot of, like, like, messed up things in the past. Is there anything for you, because he cheated on you once before, from you said, is there anything that could break this relationship? If they were sleeping around or if he has done something within the past, you know, since we officially, like, made things right, it's been a couple months, like, four months or three months. So since four months, mm -hmm. in the past four months... Everything before four months is forgiven, but yeah, if there's everything. anything within the past four months, that's where you're like... That's where I'm like... A, okay, man. Mm, all right, listen. When we come back, everyone, we are going to unlock their phones and get to the bottom of this love triangle. Stay with us. All the photos on this man's phone will be unlocked next. And that's not you? Oh!
and it will turn this whole situation completely upside down. That was you. I don't feel as though that like I do sexual things in front of Lauren. I feel as though I, I believe don't. She does. Have you cheated with on Sylvia with her cousin? Hell I'm no. asking you directly. Hell no. All right, everyone, we are back. And it is time to unlock the phone. Yeah. We're gonna be starting off with you, Santa. When it came to your text, we found zero texts. When it came to apps, we found that there was one suspicious thing in the apps. And when it came to DMs, we found nine DMs. Oh. That would be suspicious. Okay. Are you concerned about what we found? <laughs> Not at all. We found things on the phone that could lead us to say something could be going on. I know there's nothing on my phone that has anything to do with him. When it came to text messages between you two, there were zero suspicious text messages. One of the big things is that there was one app that was found, and this is a big one, because your only ask was that they did not follow each other on social media. We found in this app that Lawrence and Santa are following each other on Instagram. I'm not following him. Yeah, I do not know what's going on right there. What do you mean you don't know what's going on? <laughs> They're following each other on social media. All right, so when it comes to the DMs, there's a private Instagram chat exchange between Santa and Lawrence. So you're saying that we don't follow each other, and now you're going to tell me that we didn't find this on June 22nd, 2022? What is this? That was me. That was you. Yeah, I don't even have that in my you phone. Can't... That was you. So you're sure trying to get in there. So the following all of this is from you. This is from you. That was me. Got it. So Santa, oh my God, don't have you're him. in the clear. You're in the clear. I know I was. That's messy on your part. She I didn't knew. Know. She I knew didn't know. that I was right at him. He blocked me. No, that, he was that, fighting. But, but what happens is that that's entrapment. You're trying to set up something, and unfortunately, you're using your cousin to do that. I already knew it was her texting me, but she tried to play it off, saying, why am I texting her cousin? I get it. But see, the problem is that when you include yourself, it then mm. starts to become messy. messy. It sends the wrong messages, and it's unfair to her. How do you feel? Because you're in the clear now. There's relief on my end. I knew I never did nothing. I knew I never said nothing. All right, so there's nothing found between your cousin and your man, so you got to stop accusing her. I need you two to swap spots, and I need you close to me. All right, because now we got it clear with your cousin, but now we're talking about your man. When it came to your DMs, we found one thing that came up suspicious. When it came to the apps, we found one thing that came up to suspicious. And when it came to photos, we found 378 photos that were suspicious. It's not right. It's not right. 378? She know about those. <laughs> Okay, let's look at the DM right now. This is a number to a woman named Angel saying, my number will pop up as this thing because you were trying to text with her and engage with her. Do you know about this? No. Okay, then. No, what is that? And you see the timeline there. It says, says 22, 22 hours, hours ago. ago. Oh, What, what are your thoughts? That's old, though. Right? No, it says 22 oh, hours. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I really don't. All right, when it comes to apps, we found one suspicious app on the phone, which was, Lawrence, you installed Tinder, and you are an active account user. Oh, oh Tinder? You installed Tinder in May. The last <laughs> time it was accessed was in October 14th. I don't know what that is. So does it mean? I don't even know how to turn on my phone. But it says you accessed it in October. I know. We I give see dates. That. Why are you smiling? Because I see that. I don't. Okay, so like literally, he's going to try to charm you and gaslight you right now. Santa, you know what, what, what do you talk to your cousin here? Because she was accusing you, and now she she's seeing the proof, and she's still saying, uh oh, I don't know nothing. But at the end of the day, he's a cheater. He cheated on you so many times. I don't give a. F I say it to your face. You cheat on my cousin all the f time, and I don't like that. All right, so when it comes to photos, we found 378 images considered nudity. Some of the images were sent through text, which means you are sharing images with other women. And these are within the past four months. So, the reason I asked you to get closer is because these are photos that were shared that I cannot show. All right, so this is the first one that was shared. You, you don't even see them. You can back up. They were already on your phone. This is the first image that was shared. So this image is in the last four months that he had on his phone that he received. Okay. And that's not you? 
No, that's oh. not me. Okay, now. The next one. Let me see, are all of these from June? No, no, this is recently. Last four months. Okay, then. Can so, I this is the last photo. I just got a problem deleting stuff. That's my fault. This is a photo <laughs> that was in the last four months. <laughs> that's you? That's who? Oh. But that's you? <laughs> This is a photo yes. of him receiving. <laughs> this is a photo of him receiving. This is a photo of him wow. receiving fellatio from another woman. Yeah, wow. That was yo. That's dude. The, thing, was well, the so thing is that I'm, 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 my question for you is that at the end of the day, you're seeing photos, you're seeing apps. He has something to say about all of this stuff. Wow. What do you want to say to him? That really is all over. And like you said, that's, don't talk that's to me. To talk to your girl. I'm only giving her what she asked know. for. I don't know what's that picture. I've never seen that picture. I don't even. I didn't even know I even still had that in my phone. That's really old. That's what I'm trying to say. You got to talk to your man right now. I'm giving you the facts based on what you asked me. You asked me for a certain time period. You yeah. asked me for phones, apps, and DMs. I've given you the answers you want. Right. This is where you have to say you. I asked you before what was at stake. You said my relationship was at stake. I know you have a, ch a child together, and I understand that. And so it's very hard and complicated when you're breaking up families and things of that nature. And I'm not trying to tell you to break up, but you asked for proof, and right. you got your proof. Mm -hmm. Talk to your man. You don't got nothing to say. Uh, first of all, you know about all those pictures and the messages. The three pictures, but not that one. Bro, that is old, bro. I, don't, I could tell you when we leave when that happened, but that was not in four months, though. That was not even five months, six months ago. That really is old. And you know I got privacy in my files and stuff like that, bro, that I did not delete yet. And you know that. So I don't know why you about to put on this act like you don't know what's going on. That's real red. Will Sylvia walk away from her man or not? He's not very going to change. That's a dog. Get him out. Come on, girlfriend. <laughs> don't. The answer is next. You are the cop. You're up on stage. When it came to your text, we found zero texts. We found nine DMs that would be suspicious. I know there's nothing on my phone that has anything to do with him. This is a photo <laughs> that was in the last four months. But that's you? That was not in four months, though. And you know this. I don't know why you about to put on this act like you don't know what's going on. I want to talk to my audience really quickly. All right, what do you have to say about this? First of all, you know he cheated. He's a dog. Throw the dog out the house. Mm. You, you got to find your place, got to go, or you guys love each other, you guys are a, friend, a family member, whatever, you guys get along, you want to support each other, great. But you're just in denial. You need to love yourself. You're pretty for this. Yeah. You're better than that. So do you feel like you could be in denial? No. You don't think you're in denial? No. OK. And he's not very going to change. That's a dog. Get him out. That's a dog. Bye. All right, what, what is your opinion? I want to hear it. Come on over. I just feel like she's aware of most of the stuff that's going on. If you see and you know that he's cheating and these things keep coming up and keep coming up and it's all in your face and you say that you're not aware of one picture, but you're aware of 377 more pictures, come on, girlfriend. <laughs> Don't. There's Sylvia, only what four is it? Thank you for that. There. Sylvia, what, what does it, Sylvia, what does it take for you, though? It was so easy for you to be mad at your cousin. It was so easy for you to be like, you know what, you wrong, you doing this. But now I'm saying to you, your man who you know cheated on you could still potentially be doing it. He was on Tinder a little bit ago. Mm -hmm. On Tinder. Yeah, that's unacceptable, too. So what do you have to say to him about being on Tinder? Why was you on Tinder? <laughs> like, I don't know what to say. Like, I don't know what to say. Was I'm he talking to anybody on Tinder? I'm going to head back to stage. Like, Mm. All right, listen. At the end of the day, this is what we got. For you two, I think that you need to... The family bonds are important. So yeah. I think whatever issues you two have, you got to be able to figure it out. I do yeah. agree with my audience member. You need to find a new place to live. At the end of the day... I got somewhere to live. Yeah, yeah. At the end, I, the I day, live somewhere else. At the end of the day, for y'all to really build, rebuild your relationship, which I think is going to be most important here, y'all got to figure it out. You... You in a situation where you gonna get away whatever the hell you want to get oh, away. Oh, what? Why y'all think that? Yo, so why do y'all think so that? Listen, listen, I, listen, I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you. That didn't come across as mad at you. Listen, you in a position where you 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 young, you getting to do what you want to do because she's not she's not setting any boundaries with you. No, she did. She has, and I, and I learned my lesson. I used to be way worse than what I am right now. I used to be way worse. But who's 
That's. <laughs> bro, that joint is old. That picture is old. I don't know how he. He good what he do, cause I don't know how he fell there. Uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't know how he fell there. <laughs> Listen, everyone. That's it. This dynamic is not going to be solved today. I actually do wish you all luck. You have information. Use that information. And then once you use that information, try to heal your relationship with your cousin because I think that's going to be important for you, all right? Good luck to you all. Everyone at home, stay with us because we'll be right back. She will not let you see your grandchild right. at all. No, whatsoever. Dika doesn't respect her mother. Baby, you got to earn respect. And doesn't want her around her child. Qualified to help. kidnapping Adrian. Look, look. It's my grandson. But is there any way this conversation, you know I see you, I see you, can bring this mother and daughter back together? Dika, I really do feel bad that I've not made you feel safe. Do you want a seat on my couch? We'll text GUEST at 22854. All right, everyone, so my next guest, Adrian, says she desperately wants to reconnect with her daughter. She admits to abandoning her in the past, but she says she has done everything in her power to repair the relationship. Please welcome Adrian to the show. How are you doing? I'm good. Meet you. How are you? I'm peaceful. What oh, a pleasure. Hey, you know what? Amen to that. I'm gonna start saying I'm peaceful. Okay. <laughs> yes. So this is heartbreaking for what I've heard so far. So you haven't talked to your daughter in two years. It's been two years. Yes. Tell me what happened. Uh, two years ago, I was told by my daughter that she did not want me involved with her and my grandson because supposedly I had been diagnosed with. Um, Bipolar disorder. Was that, well, you, why do you say supposedly? Were you or were because you not? Because I have not. Okay, because you have not. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, great. Okay. Yes. So where um, did she come up with that from? Well, because of the past. Um, I stumbled. I uh, was introduced to crack cocaine. And, of course, it dissolved their family. And, um, unfortunately for me, it was an experience that lasted about 10 years. Oh, got it. Um, and... Uh, but fortunately for me, I'm still living, and I live through it. Um, I've been yeah. 23 years clean. Great job, good job. Do you think your daughter's a good mother? My daughter is awesome. Yeah. With the exception of me not being in her life and the challenges that we are facing, that was my child. I raised Candace. Yeah. Her name's Dika for stage, but nonetheless. Yeah. She's my only child, and she's he's my only grandchild. Yeah. Did you have a close relationship with um, Dika when she was growing up? Yes, we were. I play a flute. And she and I, at one point, were hoping to be like the Judds. Ah, but the daughter do. Yes. I like that. So when she was younger, you left her with her father. I did. Why? Because of my addiction. So you say that Dika tries to act like she's the mother. Yeah. Here you go. She's always been pretty possessive. Yeah. She's always wanted to be possessive of me as if she's a mom. Okay. She's very independent, very outspoken, and I tend to take the back seat to her. Okay. I'm still missing what, what we think the problem is here. In her mind, she believes that I was diagnosed as being bipolar. Got it. I want to be clear. She will not let you see your grandchild right. at all. No, whatsoever. And is it because of the, is it because of the fact that she thinks you're bipolar? Yes. Got it. So with this diagnosis, what are the behaviors that she think you're going to have that's going to make you think that, you know, that's stopping her from wanting you, letting you see your grandchild? I'm uncertain why she feels as if I, first of all, have a diagnosis of being bipolar, and I don't know why she feels I, of all people, would not be good for my only grandson. Well, I think to really help you all, I need to get to the bottom of this story. I think it's time to talk to your daughter, Dika, and get her perspective on all this. Everyone, please help me welcome Dika to the show. Hi, Dika. How are you doing? Hey, Karamo. How are you doing? I'm good. You look great. I do. So, <laughs> I, what do you... You do? <laughs> Amen. What do you feel about what you just what you just heard your mother saying? I feel like it was very entertaining. Oh. But she's very good at that. Okay. Y'all hooked, ain't you? 
Okay. Here's the thing. You have a real problem with memory. You have admitted to me before that you have a problem with memory. You seem to forget when you were incarcerated for those two years, you came out with a prescription. That's how you had your stuff together so that you could start your little business. You seem to forget that you told me that you had never felt as good as you felt when you were on those pills. You forget that, don't you? You forget all the emails that you sent me at 11.30 when you're exhausted and your brain is tired and you haven't medicated yourself because you don't feel like mental illness is real for some reason. You don't believe mental illness is real, do you? Dika doesn't respect her mother. Baby, you got to earn respect. And doesn't want her around her child. Qualified that is to help. kidnapping, Adrian. It's my grandson. But is there any way this conversation, you know I see you, I see you, can bring this mother and daughter back together? Dika, I really do feel bad that I've not made you feel safe. You are the cop. Get off my stage. Supposedly, I had been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Were you or were because you Because I have not. She will not let you see your grandchild right. at all. None whatsoever. I feel like it was very entertaining. Oh. But she's very good at that. You haven't medicated yourself because you don't believe mental illness is real, do you? Yes, May I please it, interject? Yes, please. Here's the biggest problem. My daughter, Candace, won't leave well enough alone. What you are is wrapped up in titles, and that's the As problem I've there. As i you, she swear, to you. Oh, you, respect, respect, respect. Baby, you got to earn respect. I am an adult, Candace. Are you an adult? Bring it down a few notches. Ma'am, would an adult? Bring it down a few notches. Okay, okay. This is why I can't see my grandchild. I've you need to work it. on you. I will how continue am I to do it. How am I supposed to reason with a person who has one opinion at 3 o'clock and then has something a totally different to say at we midnight? We don't even talk to each like other. A, baby, no, She's I talking don't. 20 years ago, people. No, sweetheart. I'm 25 talking 20 years, years ago, ago when I was about to get a, a restraining order against you That's because when I was you went behind divorce. my back and removed I was going my son from his friend's house I, two doors down without asking me. Not even that qualified is to help kidnapping, Adrian, Lord, Lord regardless Candace. of whether oh or not you think you are a responsible adult. I don't think it's required of me to be hollered at. You do not a responsible adult. I am an adult. Really, really, really. I, see, I see that this there's, I see there's a lot of pain. This is what I go, this is what I there, go there's through. Pain, there's pain, and, there's pain. There's a lot of pain. pain. But I want to know something, because you just, I need to know what happened two years ago. What happened with your child? Two years ago, I was going, I Hi, filed for a divorce. Hi, did you see how he asked me and was looking at me? No, I really wasn't paying attention to who he was looking at. This is a conversation. But it's and my there's child, more right? than one person the here. The words he used, and this is where we have a problem, because words mean something I'm different listening. to you than they do to everybody else. The question was, what the happened mama, to my child? Don't forget child? what I said about her wanting to be the mother. Because always. I'm the one who has understanding. No, that's not true. I don't want true. to be the mother. That is not, you have your always perception. put me in that position. But it's because your, your perception. entire life, you have made it the is decisions your based on Candace. what you want to do you in the moment. You need to bring it down a few notches what you and realize do, that you are the daughter. Sure, you, you are my daughter. You. you ain't my mama. Come on. That has been your problem all along. I never wanted to be your mama your because child. I would have raised you better than she did. You figure out what's wrong, Candace. You're I am trying to do all I can. How was your relationship growing up? How was your relationship going up? Up until I was about nine, it was cool. What happened at nine? Real life starts happening, and... Her father introduced me to drugs. That's what happened. To break up our family, which she fails to realize. But here we are, 20 years later, still talking about the same stuff because grown people because don't go to rehab. Because you have children. Grown, because grown people like you don't believe in mental illness, and you don't Who go don't handle your trauma. So the rest illness? of us have to hear you tell the same stories oh over and over God. again because no. you won't go pay a therapist to listen. So what issues have you had with your mother regarding your son? Uh, I heard you say that she picked him up once. Yes, she's and... picked him up. She's picked him up most recently, which is why I uh, finally had to put my foot down because I told her very clearly. I wish I still had the text messages, um, but I told her in very, very clear terms that if you are not going to get help for, help for yourself, then you don't need to be around me and my son. You said when she came out of jail yes. that they gave her she a prescription. She had a prescription. Yes. I don't know why she, she know would why. have a bottle with her name on it and pills if she didn't because actually didn't have, have a prescription. Any. I've never had a diagnosis of by being bipolar. Candace's problem is that she wants attention. 
All right, that's her problem. That's her problem. And she wants it all to seem like it's me so that it can be as if she's free as a bird. She wouldn't even be here if it wasn't she, for can me. Can we remove her from the stage so, so I can get she it needs to get it right. Well. It's not just her. I'm here about this. It's my grandson. She's so stuck on her, she's stuck in the past on what happened. Understand what are we doing she's now? Saying. You were in the hospital recently. Did you visit her? No. no. What, was she in the, what were you in the hospital for? For my heart. Okay. She didn't even consider me on my dying bed. Less than three weeks ago. Yeah, right. No, it's not because that's my abuser. Whatever. That's my abuser. She, you can she meet what you want, but life. if I had the email, she could not have had she a better life. She me and people. all my friends, all kind of. She could not have had. A, she doesn't blame her father for any of this. Come on. Because you've been beating me down for so long. I've been beating you down. You're such that's a victim, right. Adrian. Got a question for you? Yeah, sure. You said you are a victim. Mm-hmm. Do you think that your daughter's a victim? Definitely. In what way? from being abused during the relationship that my ex-husband and I... you violating my boundaries over and 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 over again that I've set for you. drugs because of her father, which ruined our family. That was the very beginning. How long was your father addicted to drugs? About, well, 14 years. 14 years. Yeah. And so he got sober before you. Yes. You don't call her mother. You call her Adrian. Why? Because she hasn't been a mother to me in years. She hasn't allowed me to be her mother. Every time in years. I've given her a chance. She to hasn't be a allowed mother. me to be her mother. How, how, do you, how do you feel about your mother right now? I feel like she has everyone in the palm of her hand right now. What? I feel like she has played y'all like a fiddle. And if I was on drugs, broke up. down, in prison, then she'd be happy and this with is that. The problem. She thinks that I'm she has the to be on of that drugs because it's for required there something, of me. For there to be something I wrong what was required with of me. her and the way that she relates. Yeah. But that's not the that's not it. Why would anybody's mother be like this to them? You know I see you. I see you. Is there any way Dika can forgive her mother? Dika, I really do feel bad that I've not made you feel safe. The answer is about to come out. You don't call her mother, you call her Adrian. Why? Because she hasn't been a mother to me in years. And if I was on drugs, broke up. down, in prison, and she'd be happy and with that. this is the problem. She thinks that I'm she has to be on drugs of that because for there to be something I wrong was required with her and the way that she relates. Yeah. But that's not, the, that's not it. So is there anything, in your opinion, that you think you could do, Dika, to salvage this relationship? The three things that she would have to do is seek professional help, <laughs> stay away until I say so, Indeed. and take some medication. The thing with children of addicts is that one of the biggest things is that they need to set boundaries. She's an adult now saying, I don't feel safe and secure around you because of our childhood. But you have to acknowledge that the years of pain, there is almost 15 years of yes. pain that she has went through. That literally, though you've done the work, she is still trying to heal from that pain. And she is telling you directly that the reason that I cannot call you mom is because I didn't feel like you were my mother. The reason that she doesn't want your grandson around you is because, again, she's trying to figure out, is he going to be safe? Mm -hmm. It all is in line. So even though I do believe in your heart of hearts, you want a relationship with her, you want to mend this, I'm here to be a mirror for you right now and say your actions are actually doing the exact opposite. I get it. You see that cycle there? She needs to feel safe. And when she calls you, she's saying that you might be diagnosed with bipolar. It's because she's trying to find something to say this make, to help her make sense in her mind of what's going on. You could have been diagnosed bipolar when you got out. I'm not calling you a liar. I know. But I'm also saying that the reason that you're really trying to make sure that you find that out is because it gives her understanding of like, why has my mother been like this to me my entire life? Why would anybody's mother be like this to them now, ever? You know, know you I do. see you. I know you do. I see you. I know Did you hear what I just said? Did you disagree with anything I said? No. But you both have to acknowledge what part you're playing in this world right now. Do you want your daughter to feel safe? God, yes. I know you do. Can you tell her I want you to feel safe? Dika, I want you to feel safe. And can you say I'm sorry that I didn't make you feel safe? Honestly, I, I really do feel bad that I've not made you feel safe. And even to this day, I know that I'm not making you All feel of safe. your life to this day that I've not been able to make you feel safe.
it's okay that you won't need time. I get it. But at least she now understands and has the language that your boundaries is not you pushing away. Your boundaries are saying, I need to figure out if I'm safe around you. <laughs> this is what I would say. One of her demands was to see a doctor. To clarify, bipolar, can you do that with her? That would be a blessing. Would you be willing to get her to get this diagnosis so we can see, so you get the answers you need? Yeah. You gotta give her time, and I will be there to support y'all. She's gonna, she's gonna make some steps, and I believe you're gonna make some steps too. I'm looking at the pain in both y'all, and I know this can be healed. I know it can be healed. I know it can. Do you believe? I believe you. I believe. <laughs> I believe in you. That's the reason I know it can be healed, and I believe in you too. Thanks. And I'll do whatever I need to do to support y'all. Please. Yeah. All right.